guys, this is Stacy with Handmade by Stacy J. Today we are going to do our final learn to knit dishcloth in this series. So this one we're going to be doing these lovely cables and creating just a fantastic dishcloth and I think out of all six of them this one's probably my favorite. Uh, this has worked pretty simply. It's just a matter of knit and purl but you do use a cable needle so that way you can get these lovely cables. And what's neat about this cloth is when you flip it over, it's not necessarily reversible because it's not the same pattern, but I do like how you can see the diamond lattice that comes with this. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm using the Hobby Rainbow 100% natural cotton 8x8 yarn. This is a little bit lighter than some of the stuff that we get here in the States. So this actually comes in at a number three lightweight rather than a worsted weight. So because of that, we're gonna use a little bit smaller needles. And these needles are gonna be a size five, 3.75 millimeter. You're also going to need a cable needle and then you'll need stitch markers as well. I highly recommend using at least two, but four will help you keep track of your repeats and such. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we're going to cast on 46 stitches and then we're going to knit four rows. So cast on 46 stitches, knit four rows, and I will meet you after that. For the next setup row, we're going to begin by knitting three, then we're going to purl 40 and then knit those last three. So for our next row to keep moving on, we are going to knit. So just knit this one row. And then on the next row, we're going to start some cabling. So just knit across. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Now we're ready to begin set up row number seven. And before we begin cabling, we're going to begin by knitting three. So knit three. And after you knit those three, you're going to purl two. And this becomes your border edge. So I'm going to put a stitch marker right there. And now that we have that, we're going to purl four. One. Two, three, four. Now you're going to need your cable needle. And some people use double pointed needles as well. It's whatever works for you is fine. I like this because I like the little, little hooky do part of it. So you're going to take your cable needle, you're going to take two stitches and you're going to insert it in those two stitches like so. And then you're going to slide those off and you're going to hold those two stitches at the front of your work, just like so. And you're going to knit the next two off of your left needle. So knit one, and we'll knit two. Now with these two stitches, we're going to place those back on the needle. And some people will knit directly off of their cable needle it's whatever your preference is. And then you're going to knit those two that you just put on. And that's called a C4F because it works over four stitches and that F means that you're bringing it to the front. So after you do that, you're going to purl four more. So one, two, three, four. And that's it for that part of the repeat. So I'm going to insert another stitch marker and then we're gonna do that again. The stitch pattern has worked over 12 stitches. So you'll always have 12 stitches between this marker and the next one. So let's do our next one with a purl four. and then the C4F. So using the cable needle, 
we'll pull two stitches off just like so and you want to be careful not to twist these stitches and then we're going to knit two I'm going to put these two stitches back on the needles and we're going to knit those two Then we will purl four. And we've completed that segment of the pattern repeat. So I'm going to put in one more stitch marker and work that one more time. So we want to purl four, do a C4F, and then purl four more. Taking two stitches off the needle to the front, knit one, knit two, put these two back on, knit one, knit two, and then purl four. And then I'll put on one more stitch marker because this signifies the end of the cable pattern repeats. But now we have our border. And for that border, we're going to purl two, knit three. And now we're done with that row and you can begin to see just a little bit of where the stitches were twisted with the cabling. After you work a couple rows, they really do start to pop out. So let's begin setup row number eight. I'm going to just slide my cable needle aside. We will only be using that on right side rows. So for row number eight, we're going to begin by knitting five. Now we have our border taken care of, and we're going to begin working on the wrong side of this first bit of the cable repeats. So for that, you're going to knit four. So let's slide our marker. I'm going to knit four. Then we're going to purl four. Then we're going to knit four once more. And that's your repeat for the pattern stitch. So you're going to knit four, purl four, knit four between each of your markers. So continue with that and I'll meet you at the end of this row. on the last bit, so that final knit four, and then I'm up to my border. So I'm going to slip that marker, and I'm going to knit five. Okay, now let's turn our work. And we're going to begin the pattern repeat. Those were all just set up rows that we just did. Now for the pattern repeat, we're going to begin by knitting three and purling two. One, two, three, purl one, purl two. Then we're going to 
slip that marker. Now we're going to purl three. One, two, three. Now we're going to do a back cross stitch. And the way the back cross works is we're going to slip one stitch onto your cable needle and then we're going to hold that to the back. So we're going to slip one stitch. So you see I've got one. I'm sliding that off and I'm holding it to the back. And when I hold it to the back, I really make sure it doesn't twist. Now, after you have that, you're going to knit the next two stitches on your left needle. So one, two. Then, very carefully not to twist your stitches, you're going to place this back stitch back onto your needle. So, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. There we go. So, that stitch goes back on your needle. And you're going to purl this. So you have it purled. And then you're going to do a front purl cross. So what that means is you're going to slip two stitches to the cable needle right here. You're going to slide those off, hold it to the front, and you're going to purl one stitch. After you purl that stitch, you're going to slide these back on and then you're going to knit. One, two. Anytime you do the back cross or the front purl cross, you are going to be working over three stitches. So after you do those, you're going to purl three. One, two, And that's the pattern repeat for that block of those 12 stitches. So we still have two more blocks of 12 to get through. So let's go over this one more time. We're going to do purl three. One, two, three. Then we're going to do the back cross. So we're going to take one stitch, slide it off the needle, like so. Hold that to the back, knit two. And we're going to put this stitch back on the needle. Slide that off and purl one. When you're first learning cables, I highly recommend that you try it out while you're at a table. It's a little bit more challenging to do if you're sitting with it, you're working your lap. Um, okay, so our next step, we're going to take two, and this is one thing that you'll notice is the two that you move off from the front are the ones that are knit. So they have that flat stockinette type stitch. So you're going to slide those two off, hold it to the front, curl one. Take these two, put them back on the needle, and knit. After you knit these two, you'll purl those last three. So repeat this sequence on the next block, and then I'll meet you at the end of it. Okay, I've the last of my pearls for that stitch repeat and those 12 stitches. I'm going to slide the stitch marker and then for these last border stitches we'll simply purl two and knit three. For the pattern repeat of row two we're going to begin by knitting five. Okay. 
I'm going to slip this marker when we come to it. And we're going to begin the backside pattern repeat of those 12 stitches. And that is to knit three. So knit three. One, two, three. Purl two. One, purl two. Then you're going to knit two. And then you're going to purl two. And then you'll knit those last three. Then we're going to do that again. So we will knit three. Then we're going to purl two. And we're going to knit two. Purl two. And then knit three. And we'll repeat that sequence one more time. So you can knit three, purl two, knit two, purl two, and knit three. And now we're back to the end with our border where we're simply just going to knit those five stitches. And then we'll turn. So now you can start seeing it coming together. I always get so excited when this starts happening. But you can start seeing it come together. And what essentially we're gonna end up doing is we're going to be elongating these braids and adding in more pearls here in the center to make the wider diamonds. So let's get on to row three of the pattern repeat. For row three, we're gonna begin with a knit three purl two. Purl two. And we're going to slide that marker when we come to it. And you're going to purl two. One. Two. And then we're going to do the back cross. So grabbing your cable needle, we're going to take the stitch off the left needle, pull that off, hold it in the back, and knit the next two. Then we're going to put this stitch back on the needle, slide that off, and we're going to purl that one cable needle stitch. After we do that, we're going to purl two. One, purl two. Then we're going to do the front purl cross. So with our cable needle, we'll take these two stitches. We're going to slide them off, pull it to the front, and we're going to purl one. Then we're going to put these back on, just like so, and we're going to knit those two. Then we're going to purl two. And then we're going to do this sequence again, two more times. Let's go over it again together. Slip this marker. We're going to purl two. Do the back cross. So we'll take that stitch, slide it on up, knit the next two.
and we're going to put the stitch back on the needle, slide it on, and purl. And then we'll purl two stitches. And then we're going to do the front purl cross. We'll take those two stitches, slide them off, hold them at the front, purl one, put these two stitches back on, slide them off, and knit. And then purl those last two stitches. And then we just repeat that sequence one more time. Purl two. Get the back cross. Take one stitch. Slide it off. Hold it in the back. And it two. And we put that stitch back on. And we're going to purl the next two stitches. And then we're going to do the front purl cross. So these two, we'll pull that on, put it up front, purl one, slide these two back on, and we'll knit those two. Then we're going to purl the last two stitches for that segment repeat. And we'll slide off the marker. And we're going to purl two and knit three. Here we are. Now we're starting to really see the cables take shape. So let's begin the next row. For row four of the pattern repeat, we're going to begin by knitting five. After we knit five, then we will slip our marker and we're going to begin the repeat of this segment of the cable. So we're going to do that by knitting two and then purling two. Then you're going to knit four. Two, three, four. Then we're going to purl two and knit two. And that's it for that segment. So we're going to repeat that once more, which is a knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. Then we're going to knit four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to purl two, and then we will knit two. And now that cable segment is done. So we're going to do it once more, and then we'll start the next row. So knit two. Two, knit four, then we're going to purl two, and then we'll knit two, and then we'll end it by knitting five. And then we'll be ready to begin our new row after we finish these five knits. 
four, five, and turn your work. All right, let's begin the next row. For the pattern repeat row number five, we're going to begin by knitting three, purling two. Purl one, purl two. Now we're going to slip this marker when we come to it, and we're going to begin our cable segment. And we're going to do that with a purl one. Then we're going to need our cable needle, and I'm going to slide one off because we're doing a back cross. I'm going to slide that off. Knit the next two. And then I'm going to put that stitch back on my needle and I'm going to purl one. After you do that, you're going to purl four. Then we're going to do the front purl cross. So we're going to use our cable needle, take these two stitches off the left needle, slide them off, put them up front, purl the next stitch. Then we're going to slide these two back on the needle, and move the cable needle, and knit two. And then Purl one. And that's that cable segment. So we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to slip our marker. We're going to purl one. Then we're going to do our back cross. So taking the next stitch off the needle, leaving it towards the back, knitting two. I'm going to slide this stitch back on and we'll purl. And then we're going to purl four. Two, three, four. Now we're going to do the front purl cross. I'm going to take these two stitches, put it on the cable needle, slide it off, leave it up front, purl one. And we're going to put these two back on, slide that off, and knit those two. And just purl that last stitch. And we'll slip the marker and do the repeat once more. One. Back cross. So it's one on to the back. Knit two. Slide it back on. Purl one. And then purl the next four. Two. Three. Now we're going to do the front purl cross. So we'll take these two stitches, slide them off, put them to the front. Purl one. And we're going to put these two back on the left needle. Slide that out. Need two. And then we'll purl that last stitch before we get to our border. And when we get to the border, we will purl two and knit three. One, two, knit, one, two, three. Here we go. Let's start the next row. For row six of the pattern repeat, we're going to begin by knitting five.
and we'll slip our marker and begin on the cable segment. And now we're going to knit one, purl two. Then we're going to knit six. After we knit six, we're going to purl two, knit one. Purl one, purl two, knit one. And that is that cable segment. So we're going to slip this marker and do it again. We're going to knit one, purl two. Two, then we're going to knit six. Six, then we're going to purl two, knit one. And then we'll slip the marker. And it's time for our last cable segment. So we'll knit one, purl two. Knit six. Two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to purl two, knit one, slip the marker, and now we're back to the border. And with the border, we're going to knit five. And then we turn our work. For row seven, we're going to begin by knitting three, purling two. Okay, now we're ready to begin our cable. So we're going to start with a back cross. Then take that one stitch, slide it off, leave it into the back, and we'll knit the next two. Then we're going to slide this back on, and we're going to purl. Then we're going to purl six. Four, five, six. Then we're going to do the front purl cross. So we'll take two stitches, slide them off, leave them up front. Do a purl. And we're going to slide these back on. And we're going to knit. That's the repeat for the cable. Let's do it again. We're going to begin with a back cross. We're taking one stitch, leaving it to the back, knitting two. And we're going to put that stitch back on the needle, and we're going to purl. Then we're going to purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to do the front purl cross. Take two stitches, leave them up front, purl, put those two stitches back on, and knit. And on to the next cable segment. 
So back cross, slide one off, leave in the back, knit two. Slide that stitch back on, purl one. And purl six. Now we're going to do the front purl cross one last time. So two stitches off into the cable needle up front. Purl one. Slide these back on and knit those two. And we'll slip our marker. We're back to our border where we're going to end with a purl two, knit three. Let's do the next row. For row eight of the pattern repeat, we're going to begin by knitting five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to slip the marker. And now this stitch pattern for the cable segment is going to be one of the easiest for you to remember, I think because you'll simply purl two, then you'll knit eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you'll purl two. That's all you do in each of these segments for the back side. Slip that marker and do it once more. Purl two, knit eight, purl two. Purl two. And then that's it for that cable segment. So we'll remove our stitch marker, or we'll move it over, I'm sorry. And we're going to purl two, and knit eight. Then you'll purl those last two stitches. One, two, and then to finish out the border, we're going to knit five. And then we'll turn our work and we'll do the next row. On row nine of the pattern repeat, we are going to be intersecting these two bits of the cable. So they're going to cross over. On this side, we're just going to have them go with the border and then they're gonna begin forming their little diamonds. So let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to begin by knitting three, purling two. And we're going to slip our marker. And now we're going to knit two and purl eight. Two, three, four, five. Eight. 
Now I should have two stitches before you get to your stitch marker. And we're going to do the C4B, which is the cable four back. So we're going to take two stitches, those two before the marker, and we're going to slide them off onto the cable needle. We're going to hold it at the back. Then we're going to remove the stitch marker for just a moment, and we're going to knit two. Then we're going to put the stitch marker back on, and we're going to put the stitches back on to the left needle, where we're going to knit those two as well. Now we're going to purl eight. And now we're back to two stitches remaining before our marker. So we'll take those two, slide them off, hold them at the back, remove that marker for just a moment, knit two. We're going to put this little guy back on there, put these stitches back on there. and knit those two. Now we're going to purl eight. One, two, three, four, And then those last two, since we're not doing the cable on them, there's nothing for them to cross over. So we're going to knit those last two stitches. Then we'll slip our marker. We're back to our border and we're going to purl two. Oops. And knit three. And now you can see that we're starting to cross over. So let's get started on the next row. Row 10 of the pattern repeat is the same as row 8. So we're going to begin by knitting 5. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to Purl two and knit eight. And then purl two. And that is your repeat for these segments. So we'll slip our marker. And we'll do that again. We'll purl two, knit eight, purl two. Two, three, four, five. And purl two. And last time, we're going to purl two, knit eight, and purl two. Slip that marker and then we're going to knit five. Okay. 
we're going to begin the decrease on this row. So this part right here is going to be going this way up here, and this will start coming together. So let's go ahead and get started on this. We're going to begin by knitting three and purling two. And we're going to slip this marker. And instead of starting with our cable having the back cross, we are now going to switch to the front purl cross. So we're going to take two stitches and bring them towards the front. And then we're going to purl one. And we're going to put these stitches back on the left needle. And then we're going to knit those two. Then we're going to purl six. And now we're going to do the back cross. So we're going to take that one stitch slide it on the cable needle, put it in the back, and we're going to knit two. Then we're going to slide this stitch back on, and we'll purl one. Then we're going to slide this marker off, and we'll start the repeat again. So the front purl cross, take those two stitches, slide them forward, purl one. Then we're going to slide these two stitches back on, take it off the cable needle, knit two. Then we're going to purl six. Now we're going to do the back cross. So we'll take that one stitch, slide it off, put it in the back, and knit these two. Then we're going to put this stitch right back on there, take it off the cable needle, and purl. This one's always challenging for me. There we go. We'll slide off that stitch marker, and now for the next cable segment. Front post cross, or front purl cross. Slide two stitches off in the front. Purl one. Slide them back on, off the needle, knit two. Now purl six. And then we're going to do the back cross. So we'll take one stitch, cable needle to the back, knit two. Slide that stitch back on and purl. Slide off that marker, doing the border. We'll purl two and knit three. And that's that row. Let's get started on the next row. For row 12, we're going to begin by knitting five.
and we're going to slip that marker up and we're going to knit one, purl two, knit six, And you're going to purl two, knit one. And slip that marker. And we're going to do that again. So we'll knit one, purl two, knit six. And a purl two, and knit one. You can slip that marker and knit one, purl two, and knit six. And for the last three on this cable segment, we will purl two, knit one, slip that marker, and knit five. And then we'll turn our work. For row 13, we're going to begin by knitting three and purling two. One, two, three, and purl two. Oops. And we're going to slip that marker and begin our cable segment. For this, we're going to purl one, then we're going to do the front purl cross. So we're going to take these two stitches, slide them up front, purl one, then we're going to take these two, put them back on, and we're going to knit two. Then we're going to purl four. Three, four, then we're going to do the back cross. So we're going to take one stitch, slide that on, put it towards the back, knit two. Then we're going to slide that back on and purl. And I'm going to purl that last stitch in that segment. And now we slip the marker and we do it again. So we begin with a purl one, and then the front purl cross. So we'll take two, pull them off, put them into the front, purl one. And we'll slide these back onto the left needle. And knit two. And we're going to purl four. Then we're going to do the back cross. So you take one stitch on the cable needle to the back, knit two. And then we'll put that stitch back on the left needle. And we'll purl. And we'll purl the last stitch of that segment. Slip that marker, and then we begin our last cable segment. So we will purl one, slide two onto the cable needle, do that front purl cross, put it up front, purl. 
curl one. Knit two. And then you're going to purl four. Two, three, four. And then we're going to slide one stitch onto our cable needle to the back for the back cross. We're going to knit the next two. Put that stitch back on and we'll purl. And purl that last one. Slip that marker. Now we're back to the border where we're going to purl two and knit three. Here we go. And now you can see where they're starting to form diamonds. So let's get started with row 14. For row 14, we'll begin by knitting five. Four, five. And we're going to slip our marker. And we're going to knit two, purl two, knit, four, purl two, knit two. And we're going to slip our marker. We're going to knit two, purl two, knit four, and we'll purl two and knit two. Now, for the next segment, we'll slip our marker, and we'll do that again. Knit two, purl two, knit four, purl two, knit two, purl one, purl two, knit one, Knit two. Slip that marker. Knit five. And we'll turn our work. For row 15, we're going to begin by knitting three and purling two. Now we're going to slip our marker. Now we're going to purl two. And then we're going to do the front purl cross. So we're going to take two stitches, bring them to the front, and then we're going to purl two, or uh, I'm sorry, we're going to purl one. We'll slide these back on to the needle. One, knit two. Then we're going to purl two. And we'll do the back cross. So we'll take one stitch, slide it off, put it in the back. Knit two. Slide that back on. Curl that stitch, and then you're going to purl two. And at your 
first cable segment. So we'll slip that marker and we're going to do it again. So we're going to purl two, do front purl cross. So we'll take these two and put them up front. Purl one. Put them back on the left needle. Knit two. Then you're going to purl two. And do the back cross. So take one stitch, put it in the back, knit two. Put that one stitch back on the left needle, purl it, and purl two. And our last repeat of the cable segment is purl two, do that right, or I'm sorry, front purl cross, We're taking two stitches, put them up front, purl one, take these two stitches, put them back, and knit those two. Now you're going to purl two, and we're going to do the back cross. So take that first stitch, slide it off to the back, knit two, slide that stitch back on the needle, purl, and purl two. And now we're back to our border. Where we're going to slip this marker, we're going to purl two and knit three. And here we are. We're almost closed up. A couple more rounds, we'll have them closing up. So let's get started on row 16. Row 16 begins with a knit 5. Then we're going to slip our marker. Then for the cable segment, we're going to knit 3. And purl 2. knit two, purl two, and knit three. And that's it for that segment. So we'll slip our marker and we'll do it again. So knit three, Purl two, knit two, purl two, knit three. And for our last cable segment, knit three. Purl two, knit two, purl two, knit three. I'm going to slip this marker and now we knit five. And here we are. For row 17, we're going to begin closing these up. So our back cross and our front purl cross are going to be worked right next to each other. 
and then on the next right side row we're going to be intersecting them again. So let's go ahead and get started on row 17. We're going to start with knitting three, purling two. I'm going to slip this marker and we're going to purl three. Now we're going to do our front purl cross, so our two stitches, slip into the cable needle up front, purl the next stitch, slide these two back up on the needle, and knit. Now we're not going to make any more stitches, we're going to go right into our next cable segment where we're doing our back cross. So grab that first stitch, pull it off into the back on your cable needle, knit two, put this stitch back on, and then we're going to purl. Then purl three. we're done with that segment. So we're going to slip off our stitch marker and we're going to do this again. So purl three, our front purl cross, purl that stitch, bring these two, put them back on the left needle, knit, And then we're going to do our back cross. So we're going to take that one stitch, slide that off, put it in the back, knit two. Then we're going to put that right back on the left needle, purl it, and then purl three. Slip that marker. And last repeat. Purl three. And we're going to do the front purl cross. So slide those two, put them up front. Purl. Put these two back on. And knit. And now for our back cross, take that one stitch, hold it in the back, knit two, and then we're going to slide that back on the left needle and purl, and then purl the remaining three. Two, three, slip that marker. Now we're back to our border, where we're going to purl two, and knit three. And here we have it. Now we can get started on row 18. Row 18 will begin by knitting five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to slip our marker, and this is a pretty easy sequence to remember. You're going to knit four, purl four. Oops, one, two. Four, and then you'll knit four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to slip your marker and do that again. Knit four, purl four, knit four. Mm 
Now let's do it once more. After you slip your marker, knit four. Purl four. And then we'll knit four. Slip this marker and we're going to knit five. Now, in our next row, we're going to begin the intersecting. So, we're going to be doing the, uh, the crossover where this one is actually going to go underneath this cable because I want it to look more like it's weaving. So let's go ahead and get started on row 19. For row 19, we're going to begin by knitting three and purling two. And we're going to slip this marker. Now we're going to purl four. Then we're going to work the cable four front. So we're going to grab our cable needle. We're going to take the next two stitches, pull them off, and we're going to pull it up front. And we're going to knit the next two. Then we're going to put these back on. And we're going to knit those two. After you do that, you'll purl four. Then we're going to slip our marker and we're going to do that all over again. So purl four, two, three, four. And we're going to take our needle our cable needle. We're going to grab two stitches, pull them up front, knit two, and we'll put these two stitches back on the left needle. And we're going to knit those. Then purl four. Lift this marker and we'll do this again. So purl four. And our cable four front. So two stitches come off, stay up front, knit two. Then put them back on the needle. Slip our marker off, we're going to purl two, knit three. And there we have it. You can see how it's starting to go over this cable. So let's go ahead and get started on our final row of the pattern repeat. Row 20 is our final row for our pattern repeat, so we're going to begin by knitting five. Five. We're going to slip this marker, then we're going to do the same as row 18, where we're going to knit four. Purl four, Oops. and knit four. Then 
and we're going to slip our marker and we'll repeat that sequence. So we knit four. Purl four. And knit four. Slip our marker and we'll do that again. So knit four, purl four, knit four. Slip our marker and knit five. So this is the full pattern repeat. We're going to need to do it one more time with rows one through 20, doing the exact same thing that we just did. One way to keep it a little bit easier for you is I do have a pattern download so that way you can keep track of your rows and you can find that below in the links. I'll have a link to my Ravelry store as well as my blog, but I will check in with you after you do rows one through 20 one more time and I'll see you in just a few minutes. So I've repeated rows one through 20 one more time and now we have a nice size dishcloth. So we're ready to start the finishing row. So how we're going to do that is first, get your cable needle, go put that away. We are done with it now. And now we are going to start our finishing rows. And this first one is very simple. You're just gonna knit three, purl 40, and knit three. And you can slip these markers off when you get to them. You don't need those anymore either. Three, and purl. Now that I've finished the knit three, purl 40, knit three row, we're gonna do the next three rows with just knitting. You're gonna knit the next three rows and then you will bind off knit wise. And I will see you in just a moment with our final piece. Alrighty, we are all done. Look at how nice this came out. We've got cables and you know, cables are what started me with the interest in knitting because I was so fascinated by them. And now you get to see how simple they actually are. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This concludes my Learn to Knit series. Although if you subscribe, you will see that I'm continuing to keep adding more content and more tutorials. And I like to do videos to accompany any patterns that I release. So please consider a thumbs up and subscribing. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy knitting and thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.